All right, so today I'm going to draw four different types of landscapes um, that you could utilize. So specifically, I'm focusing on the base of my landscape. So my drawings are going to be on an A4 paper, folded in half, and I'm going to put it in landscape. So that's how I'm going to begin my drawings. So as we know, for isometric drawing, we need a ruler and we need a grey lead pencil. So, to make it easy, along the bottom, as my starting point, I'm going to draw a straight line. So, for every drawing, I'm going to put in that line before I begin. So now I'm going to draw four different types of bases that you could possibly use for your own. So base number one is going to be a thin isometric rectangle. So I'm going to pick my starting point. So we're going to go from here. I'm going to approximate a 30 degree angle. This is only a guideline, so draw it lightly. So I want it 30 degrees in there. And the same on this side, 30 degrees going from there. Okay, so for all of our drawings, we will have a similar starting point. So, I am going to put one mark along this line. That's where my base will end. And along this line to make a rectangle, I'm going to put a mark there. So, this one is going to be a thin layer. So, what I mean by that, it's going to be one centimetre high. So I'm going to draw a line up one centimetre from my mark. From my second mark on this side, a line up one centimetre. And again, from my centre point, I'm going to draw a mark one centimetre up. Next step, join the dots. So from this line to here, connected. This line to here connected. Okay, so without the isometric ruler, here comes the tricky part. So, along with this guideline, I'm going to line my ruler up. So you can see my ruler along here is on line with the line. So, pushing my ruler until I hit this point here, I want to try and keep it directly in line with this line, or what we call parallel. So, I'm going to go all the way from this side, draw a line lightly until it hits my point. There we go. I'm going to flip my ruler around and I'm going to do the same thing from the other direction. So, on this line heading this way, I'm going to line my ruler up. And we've got this point over here. And I'm going to try and keep my ruler as parallel as possible to this line. And I'm going to drag it all the way along until it hits this point here. And I'm going to draw a line. You can draw this one thick. And then what we're going to do, go to this point over on the right hand side of the page. And we're going to connect up to this center point here. So. There we have it. If I rub out my guidelines, you have your first rectangular base. So that is one idea that you could use.